We'd like to welcome our first guest on the show today, Lieutenant Tolly. Thank you so much for being on our show Thank today. You for us. We are at the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office Animal Protection Services, and this is Denny here with us today, and he is up for adoption. So he is a cutie pie and so sweet. So tell us a little bit about APS. Absolutely. Uh, well, the Sheriff's Office took over uh, control and um, and care of the shelter in July 2012, okay. and since then. Uh, we've really focused on making it more of an adoption center uh, versus just animal control okay. and uh, rabies control. Uh, our focus is to find as many animals, uh, good homes as we can. And we, we've done a really good job with that um, by using uh, the community's volunteer. Uh, we have a very large volunteer base, um, uh, which, are, uh, which we couldn't do without. One of the things, too, about that volunteer base, Lieutenant Tolley, is I've been through the program uh, uh, out here. It's a short orientation program that uh, you come out, I think it's on a Saturday. Uh, that's posted on your website. You do about a two-hour class. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah, you just go to brunswicksheriff.com uh, and go to the Animal Protective Services page, and there's a volunteer application, and then our volunteer coordinator uh, will respond back to you and let you know the next upcoming orientation. And the main thing is just to come out and help with the enrichment of the animals. As you see, is our, like our play yard here. Uh, it's just we want to teach these animals how to be better pets. They're all great animals, but some just have failed at being a good pet. Uh, so we really want to work with them and, and teach them to be a better pet. And that's not always the animal's fault. Either. Not always the animal's <laughs> fault. Not always. So tell us the process of when a dog or a cat comes into the shelter. Tell yeah, us the yes, ma'am. Um, well, once an animal comes in, uh, North Carolina law requires we hold every animal for 72 hours. Well, we go two days above and beyond that. Every animal is held for at least five days. And after five days, it becomes the property of, the, of Brunswick County. And at that point, we determine which path we want to take with this animal. Is it adoptable? And if it is adoptable, we, does it come to Adoption Road? Do we reach out to a breed-specific rescue or a local rescue group? Um, or does it just need more training before it comes up to Adoption Road? Unfortunately, not all the animals make it. Uh, we are inundated with stray animals and, and unhomed animals. Uh, we take in approximately 5,500 to 6,000 animals a year. And uh, this year, we're hoping to hit 50% uh, adoption rate, uh, which is well above uh, the average that it has been in the past. Uh, so with the county's help and the community's help, we can do that. We can do better than that. Um, you know, we want to get it to zero, right. uh, but we definitely need the help of the community. About how many adoptions did you do in 2014, Lieutenant? Yeah, uh, well, in 2014, we did just over 2,900 uh, live releases, and that's a return to owner, adoption, and releasing wildlife back into the wild. Wow. So you do deal with wildlife? Too. We do. Yeah. Uh, we do. If it's, um, if it's a rabies issue, we do deal with wildlife. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's just an um, encounter with wildlife, the North Carolina Wildlife Office will handle that. What else do you have here right now other than cats and dogs? I know we looked at them earlier. Absolutely. We have, uh, we take in your domestic animals, obviously cats and dogs, mm -hmm. ferrets. Uh, we get bunnies. We get birds. Um, as you see behind us, uh, the stables, we have a horse over there now. Okay. We have We've had 190 chickens and ducks and quails in there at one time. Uh, we get goats. We're prepared every day to whatever shows up. And that's the thing about your county shelter. Whatever comes to the front door, we take. Uh, we don't have the option of saying we're full or we're, we're, we can't take it. If it's from Brunswick County, we're here to serve our community and, and the animals of our community. So we're here for them. So if, if you feel yourself getting overwhelmed or you see uh, stray animals in your neighborhood, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you. Let me ask you this now. Uh, the animal adoption process, I know you guys use social media a lot. Uh, Facebook and mm -hmm. that page is, what is that page called? Uh, well, one of the biggest things we've done to increase adoption here was Sheriff Ingram's plan when we took over was to get the community more involved. And our Facebook page, which is Brunswick Sheriff's Animal Adoption page, has been one of our biggest assets to increasing adoptions. We have a photographer that doesn't, that shows the animal in a much better light uh, versus behind the, behind the fence or in the cage, they show them you know, almost glamour shots, mm -hmm, exactly. and and it's it's giving that animal a better chance of uh, of survival, and that's that's our main goal. So, Lieutenant Tolly, if these folks see these animals on Facebook page, or they get in the notion that they're wanting to adopt a, an animal, 
Uh, what is the process? They need to come out here to this location uh, and supply to and meet with folks to find a dog. Right. Uh, if they if they see something on Facebook or our website, uh, we just encourage them to come out and spend some time with that animal. Mm -hmm. Even though you fell in love with that picture, come and see if it is the animal for your family. We have animal care specialists that are here that are glad to help you and answer any questions that you may have about a certain breed or a certain dog. So. Some people fall in love with these pictures and they, they want to buy it from the picture, but you want to come meet this animal first and see if it's a good match for your family. This puppy, everybody's not ready for puppy life. Puppy life consists of cleaning a lot of spots off carpet, uh, chewed up shoes. Uh, they're, they're looking for the squeaker inside of the, inside of the high heel shoes. So you, you got to be ready for that animal. Um, we have from puppy to, to adult. Right. So come and let our specialists help you find what you're looking for. And also um, you have a adoption outreach trailer also that travels around Brunswick County. Is that right? Tell us a little bit about where they go and where people can go and visit these animals as well. Absolutely. And again, social media, mm -hmm. our Facebook page lists our adoption events okay. um, completely for the month, uh, every month. And it is an adoption outreach trailer. Uh, if Some people are not going to come to the shelter. Right. So if they're not coming to the shelter, we're taking these animals out to find the find their owners. So we go from the north end of the county to the south end of the county and everywhere in between. Uh, we stop at uh, pet stores, um, uh, vet offices, all, all over the county. Uh, and we generally take about four dogs and two cats to each event. And it's the same animals that are on Adoption Row, but it's just giving them a little bit more view in the county and more opportunity. Okay. And that's, you said you got cats too. so. Uh, if somebody wants to adopt a cat, but what about the other animals that you bring in? You were talking about all these odd uh, domestic animals from horses to uh, chickens to ducks to <laughs> right. rabbits. Do you look for places to place them to or how well, to handle those? Well, sometimes we have to reach out to rescue for those specific. Uh, generally, some of those animals that we get in here have issues and have problems or, or need a little bit more care. So we reach out, there's an equine rescue, mm -hmm. there's a waterfowl rescue, there's, a, there's all types of rescues and we can reach out to them for their expertise. And sometimes we'll send those animals to them and let them find the proper homes for them. So tell us a little bit about how they can get in touch with you guys. Yeah. I know there's several different ways that they can get in touch with you guys. We talked about the Facebook page uh, the location here is, what's the address here? Sure. Our, our physical address is 429 Green Swamp Road, which is Highway 211, um, right, right across from Lockwood Folly Ballpark. Uh, you can't miss us. We're one mile from 17. Uh, our phone number is 910-754-8204. And then, of course, our Facebook page, uh, Brunswick Sheriff's Animal Adoption page. And then you can always go to brunswicksheriff.com and get all that okay. information. Right. And one last question. Um, are there fees to adopt these animals? There are. Um, any, on the dogs, anything over six months uh, is $65. That includes the physical exam, the spayed or neuter, the age appropriate shots, uh, the first month front line. And then you also have an option to get the dog microchipped when you do take it to get it uh, uh, get it get it fixed. Uh, that's an additional fee. And then anything under six months is $46. And that just doesn't include the heartworm test. The dogs over 60 over six months do get a heartworm test as well. Now the cats, um, they're $15. Wow. And that fee was reduced by Sheriff Ingram due to the amount of cats that we were not being able to find homes. The sheriff um, was very instrumental in, in helping this adoption rate uh, uh, exceed. Um, and that is, that is our main goal. Uh, so that fee has been, has been um, um, supplemented through other funds. Um, and uh, that has helped increase the cat adoptions as well. So for $15, you get a cat that is spayed or neutered. You get a cat that is uh, up to date on his vaccines, a physical exam, first month front line as well. And you can't do that anywhere else. You can't, yeah. We were actually in there earlier looking at all the cats. And yes. I found one that I loved. So. <laughs> So thank you so much for being on our show today. Um, one more time, will you say the website and your phone number? Absolutely. The website is brunswicksheriff.com, and our phone number is 910-754-8204.
thank you, Lieutenant Tolly, for being on our show today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And again, we are at the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office, Animal Protection Services, and we'll be right back. And Denny says goodbye.